Smile and Exile actually got an upset beating uh, King Arc and this guy Extra O. Um, pretty tight about it uh, is probably what Extra O is thinking right now, but it's okay. Yeah. And, you know, going into game one, and that, I don't think that was necessarily the best choice from PK Chris. Um, he threw out a PK fire, uh, but he has to remember that Bowser has Tough Guy and up until around 65 percent so Bowser will be able to literally run through PK fire if he's grounded. So I feel like there's a little bit of questionable decision making coming from PK Chris. Regardless, Chris able to subvert the offstage pressure from uh, from Mile with a really fantastic up air returning to stage. Yeah, these guys are really good at getting damage. Yoshi has some of the most like uh, like quick damage ever with his up tilt and or his F tilt up air strings, and then you just land and then you can just reset it. It it can get kind of tilting. Um, but yeah. Bowser Bomb taking PK Chris's stock at only like a hundred something percent, like 105, able to land on the platform. And that's definitely going to be so fun in this matchup, especially, like I feel like both of these characters, Zelda and Ness, have a lot of benefit in playing out of shield. They have to be really, really careful about that. Ooh, Zerud's so unable to get the punish on the, uh, the down smash with the lightning kick, but unfortunately not being able to take up the stock quite yet with it. Yeah, something so crucial about a uh, Bowser Bomb is that most grabs and doubles can be punished by the other partner, but it's very hard to punish Bowser Bomb in, yep. uh, in a double situation, which makes it one of the best options for doubles in the game. Ah, uh, and PK Chris with the unfortunate Ooh. SD, he double jumped, but then air dodged just a little bit too early. He had to wait for himself to get a little bit more height, almost able to connect the double up air into the Zelda's up air, not able to find it. And uh, right there, uh, Exiled using the... Uh, the neutral beat to yep. tell uh, Zero to None to back off while Mile combo you could Chris. And right now, I want to see maybe Exile playing a little bit more reservedly with some of his multi hits, like the uppies out of shield or the falling nose, because when he's committing to these really, really laggy or time consuming options, Zero to None has so much leeway to react, hit him with a lightning kick, and then, you know, he's either like, like once again, he over committed to that uh, neutral beat and got lightning kicked as a result. Okay, ledge, ledge scramble right now, and they both get on ledge. Yep. Okay, just rolling out disadvantage. Both hit by the spike of that fair, and now it's a really rough spot. He's so smart from PK Chris to delay his PK Thunder though, because not only did he get the optimal angle to snap directly onto ledge, but he was just able to subvert the two frame option. Ah, I think that was a little bit of a questionable decision for a mile to actually back off of the ledge pressure though because that would have been a order since PK Chris air dodged all the way back on. They both hold each other at ledge. Uh, the red team has not been able to get back into an advantage state too much, but as I say that, they do exactly that. So, good job. Yep. Really, really, really great me. maneuvering from Exile to make sure he's avoiding the Phantom. And just like that, they brought it back. And That's a 2v1 situation. This would be really impressive as three stocks to take on three heavy yeah. characters. Or two heavy characters. <laughs> and I feel like if there's any character to do it, it's like either Zelda or Ness, just because they definitely don't struggle with damage output at all. Zero to unable to get the fall. Like lightning kick and dash attack, dealing so, so much percent. And honestly... Yeah, I play a, quite a bit of Zelda myself. I can definitely vouch that she's very strong in a 2v1 situation. Um, I hate you for saying that you play Zelda. I hate you bro, money, so much. Money match from Zelda. Anyways. And that is what exactly Mile was looking out for. He was just saying, do it. I want. I know you're going to beat the up here. I know you're going to do it. You're going to do it right now. And he was ready with the downer. So Zeritsun has to be a little bit more attentive of that and make sure he doesn't fall into something yeah. so susceptible. And they do not look too happy in the player cam. Yep. This is a... Not that fun of a team to fight. Yoshi and Bowser kind of just hit you and yep. take a lot of percent. And especially just because Yoshi has like multi hits that you can't really contest, like yeah. the back air. Or the um, down air. Or the down air. And Bowser has so much time to react and follow up. You're going to be taking an aerial to an aerial. And that's like 30 something food percent just from two aerials, which is absolutely nuts. So he's un unable to connect a down air into the lightning kick, only getting the sour spot, going for it again, but not Jumping finding down. it again. But fantastic up tilt streaks. Wow. Beautiful stuff so from PK Chris. Damage. And the beautiful thing about uh, doubles is when two people are in the PK fire, it, it like has more hit lag when it hits. So it's like out there for longer. Yep. It just feels like it's active for longer and you're just able Hey, I have time to do another PK fire. Hey, I can do a drag down up and all the multi hits are going to connect. 
just because of the extended hitbox of another opponent. PK Kush trying to get the back out of shield, punishing uh, Miles Jab, but unable Ooh. to find it with Zero Tsunami. There was some anger behind that down air. Oh, it, it was menacing. Menacing. Absolutely ferocious. <gasps> Nair out of shield, coming from Yoshi, such a strong option. And of course, the PK Thunder will not dissipate a few frames wow. after the initial startup of it. And that's why Mile was able to go through it and not cancel it. Oh, I feel like poor DI on that yep. Nair. Holding away, trying to drift to ledge. And only a slight deficit. These characters are pretty used to being at high percent. It's more so, can you close out the stock? That's the important part. Yep. PK goes ready with the up air to punish. Yes, um, 66%. Well, just like that. I feel like that's been consistent throughout a lot of the set, but I just want to admire like Exile's ability to land, especially against both of these characters yeah, as Bowser. He like, loves the opt for Nair. It's such a strong landing option. The multi-hit and it, it, it clips your shield. You pop up and can combo into back air. Yep. Really strong. Going for the aggressive down air option, which I definitely feel like was the move of the lightning kick. Bowser was so heavy on just about anybody else that would have killed. Now, PK Chris has to be able to find a landing. So smart for him to drift back all the way and snap onto the ledge. But the up smash is going to take it. And uh, arguably, it's I would say it's even. Oh, never mind. It was even right there, I feel like, if they didn't, weren't able to close out the stocks. But now, a slight lead. Actually, a pretty solid lead. Ooh, beautiful mix-up. That drop down. They're doing just so much damage from the triple up air. Honestly, at low percent, it's definitely a go-to option. Though she's at the perfect way to connect something like that as well. Definitely fantastic stuff from Chris. Oh, trying to get the drag down forward, but he has to remember he does not have enough frames of advantage on the heaviest character in the game to be able to land anything out of drag down forward. Ooh. This is now real rough. Zero to yeah. gain the edge guard. This like a complete a reversal from the last uh, game. Yeah, and the thing is, this was all pretty close the whole game, and then they just closed out those two stocks and just ran away with that momentum. Uh, Blue team never really got back into an advantageous spot, and that's a game. So, Zerts and Pika Chris, I feel like this time they did a fantastic job of like closing out Exile's stock because in the last game, Exile was living so long. He survived so many of Zerts and Nun's lightning kicks, especially as they continued to stale. But now they were able to find a kill sooner, and as a result, their just stock count just depleted a little bit quicker. Um, and for game three, they are going, I, I believe, Loser Semis is best out of three. And so is Lizzie's final. So for game three, they are going to opt for. Oh, that was a drama. I, I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Um, they're discussing. So they banned Yoshi's and they banned Battlefield, which I feel like is definitely the move. You're not going to be landing against Ness and Zelda, as especially Bowser. But I feel like Yoshi would be able to get like a lot of really good platform extensions. I feel like it was definitely for the Bowser uh, more so than anything else. Okay, Yanova picked us the stage. And big switch up from Mile right here, going the light blue Yoshi. This is gonna change everything. Okay. Um, and right now, uh, Zeritz and I'm losing his stock so early. PK Chris has to find a way to get off of the pressure that's being just applied to him at ledge. And the betrayal, the phantom hitting Chris, and that is going to... <gasps> Chris! <gasps> that was beautiful! Punishing Immaculate. the tech! Immaculate. Immaculate, that's exactly what I would say. He punished the, uh, the tech, you know, with a, with a really, really spicy footstool. And that is something that Chris was talking about yesterday, actually. He's saying, you know what, I'm going to incorporate a footstool so much more into my play, especially if I land the PK Thunder and they tech it, because it's such a fantastic option, and you're just able to, like, just punish, like, the lag after the tech. So I love that from PK Chris. What a fantastic way to take out the stock. It's, if that's the case, that's extremely impressive that he's able to incorporate it in his gameplay already. Mm -hmm. um, not easy. It's much easier to say something than to do it. 
Oh, right now, Chris, ah, uh, Chris is already down one second. Right now, they have to find a way to deal a little bit more damage to Yoshi, to Mile here. But he's doing a fantastic job of just, like, playing on the flinch without getting up too much stage control. Yeah, it's gonna be important for Exile to, uh, to not, uh, to, sorry, to not die, to hold on to the stock as long as possible. Because unlike Zelda, um, Bowser's extremely heavy, so it's really crucial for him to be a stock tank like that. An and exile. even game right now. Never and mind. It's gonna be oh, light yes, kick. it is like, back to you. Yep, and once again, like, Exile has to be so careful of when he is committing to those long lasting options. Because he's just gonna get lightning kick for it. Cool. Almost got them both in that up there. That would have been tragic, but uh, he can Chris Tech in the platform. That's going to be the forward area. I can't help but suspect Spirit's that. Spirit's not, not able to land against Yoshi's pressure at 89%. I tried to get a grab and out of shield. Death. That was definitely sub another the stop. Really, really quick turnaround. We both just had such intense pressure that stop. Yeah, Zuitsunan definitely died a lot there. sooner than he should have. I think Mile was positioning himself to maybe catch um, Zelda mashing out a neutral B, but Zuitsunan really, really smart not to do that. Going through the drift away down it. Looking to maybe close the stock with up it. But Miles so patient getting back to stage. Really smart from Zero Tonight though just to opposite smack Bowser in the face for him. You know, going with for the fire breath. Zero Tonight able to somehow get back onto stage despite all of that pressure. Wow. Yeah, it was just. As soon as they got the kills, just a wash. And that's two upsets coming out from Mile and Exile. The biggest one being, of course, Extro yeah. and King Arc. Extro being arguably the best player in the world, I think. I believe that's the general consensus now. Um, so, yeah. Um, 